A sleep center is, with the dental, was just kind of focused more on helping um, the avenue of treating obstructive sleep apnea with an oral appliance. Your first visit would be just to look at to see if you're collapsible. We allow for 25%, so anything over 25%, we kind of get concerned you might be having an issue. Left side is gray. So this is food that will come in. We look, are you hypertensive, diabetic, thyroid, thyroid problems? The biggest key, do you snore? No one should snore. If you're snoring, something's going on and you need to be investigated further. That's when I work with a primary care physician or an ENT to see if you need a sleep test. There's other avenues. We do have it here and offer it here. If they write a prescription, we can do the sleep test where I send it to a certified sleep doctor. Once we get a diagnosis, if you decide you want to do a sleep appliance or therapy, um, that's when we make sure that we can overcome that collapse with an appliance. And that's where we are different too. You don't buy it. So you have not invested money in it um, until I know for sure it would work for you. So I'm able to tell you, no, I'm sorry, you only can do a CPAP or whether the appliance should work by using the pharyngometer. And push it all out. Push, 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 keep pushing, push. The sleep test is a very simple device. It's the same ones they use at the Mayo Clinic. It's a watch. It has a little sensor that goes right here that tells me how loud you're breathing within 12 inches, what position you're in. There's a probe that goes on the finger that tells me about that heart rate. Does How high does it go? How low does your oxygen go? How many times an hour do you stop breathing? We collect the data and I send it to a board certified sleep physician who actually interprets it, diagnoses if needed, and can prescribe the oral appliance if needed. Obstructive sleep apnea has to be diagnosed by a physician. So we work hand in hand with primary care physicians, ENT, to ensure the patient has a cohesive treatment. Only a dentist can make the oral appliance. I have to have a physician write me a prescription. Once I get that prescription, I can make the oral appliance um, if they are compatible. And by that, we use the pharyngometer to see and make sure we can overcome the collapse. 6% decrease. Okay. Sleep apnea is the airway, it's collapsing. I explain it like a fireman hose. Um, when air's in there, it's great, but when air's not, it collapses down. A CPAP works by blowing air in and keeping you open. An oil appliance works by manipulating the jaw so it can't collapse on you. Exactly what you just did. 50% of heart attacks and 90% of strokes that happen at night are due to sleep apnea. So it is life-threatening. I have never had a patient die from crooked teeth, but I have lost some to sleep apnea. So we want to see that everyone is treated, be it a CPAP, be it an oil appliance, be it a surgery called Inspire. It's just important you get your quality of life back too. Um, that you feel better and can do things that you enjoy.